How can you use cybersecurity certification practice exams effectively to help you pass? In this video, we're going to talk all about how to use practice exams to help you get a passing score. Make sure that after this video, you check out the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements if you want resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. Also, if you're trying to break into cybersecurity, check out my Getting Started page for free resources and a copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. One of the most nerve wracking parts about preparing for a cybersecurity certification exam is not feeling comfortable about answering questions. This is especially true on exams like the CISSP, where the stress is so high and the unknown makes people so nervous. Luckily, practice exams are a way that we can help to minimize the stress and feel more confident going into our exam. In other videos throughout this series, we've talked a lot about using resources and how to approach studying, but we really haven't talked much about exams. One problem that a lot of people run into with practice exams is that they overuse them. Even though there's a lot of practice exams out there for many certifications, people go through hundreds of questions and then they repeat them again. That's not helpful. This is a problem because the first time that you see a question, that's the most effective time because you haven't seen the explanation behind the scenes. Once you answer a question, typically with the wrong answer, then you'll look at the explanations and you'll know the question. The most effective strategy that I've used for practice exams is to slowly introduce them into my study sessions. For example, you might do five or 10 questions before and maybe after your study session, just to make sure you're focused and in the right frame of mind. Like I was saying about the explanations, as you answer questions, you should be looking at the explanations to see why answers are correct or incorrect. This slow strategy really helps you focus your studying on topics that you don't know as well, especially as you get closer to your exam date. You might even consider taking a mock exam or two as you get closer to your exam date to actually simulate that exam environment. These strategies aren't anything super secretive, but I can't tell you how many times I've seen or heard people not getting the full advantage out of the practice questions. As far as practice exam vendors to purchase, there are several out there, but the first place that you wanna look is the actual certification vendor itself. And then the second location that I would recommend is Boson. If neither of these are options, then I'll go to Amazon and I'll look for options there, or there might even be practice exams in study guide books that you can actually take advantage of. Question of the day. How do you use practice exams when you're studying? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked all about using practice exams to help you get a passing score. Remember, you don't wanna burn through all your practice questions without a plan. Make sure that you keep watching the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements. If you want resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services, and I'll see you next time.